Hey everyone, it's Justin again. Through the many letters I've received, we've learned about daily life in different places around the world. Do you remember some of the letters we got from kids in big cities like Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Toronto, Canada, and New Delhi, India? We learned that big cities have tall buildings, busy streets, and lots of people. There's plenty of hustle and bustle. Now, imagine if you wanted to live near that excitement, but not smack in the middle of it. Maybe you'd like to live in a place that's a little less busy, with more trees and more spaces to play, but you also didn't want to be too far away from the city and what it has to offer. Well, that type of place is called a suburb. Suburbs are kind of a middle ground between a big city and the countryside or a small town. People enjoy living in the suburbs because they have plenty of open space with lawns and trees, but they're not too far away from a big city. When you live in a suburb, you can easily go into the nearby city and yet live in a quieter place that's less crowded. Today, I got a new letter from a kid who lives in a suburb in the United States, and we're going to have fun discovering what her life is like in her hometown. So stay tuned and let's get ready to explore Suburban USA in this episode of Let's Take a Journey, Oregon. Ready to discover what life is like in a suburb in the United States? Let's get to it. Dear Justin, my name is Nicole. Hey, Nicole, thank you for writing. I live in a place called Beaverton. It's in the state of Oregon. It's a suburb just outside the city of Portland. Here's our map of the U.S. Do you see that red state? That's Oregon. And now let's look for Nicole's hometown, Beaverton. There's Beaverton. And you can see that it's right next to the city of Portland. This is me. I'm seven years old. And this is me and my mom. I have two sisters. My mom says she needs to open up a hair salon in the living room. Maddie is 11. Denise is wearing pink. She's not. Sometimes they bug me, but they say that sometimes I bug them too, lol. But we all get along okay. We have a dog named Charlotte, she likes to sleep on my bed, and a bunny named Peter. He's very soft and snuggly. Aw, sweet. This is my house. I love our front porch. We have a big backyard, but you can't see it in this picture. It rains a lot in Oregon, but we're used to it. It's mostly rainy in the winter when it's not snowing, but we have lots of things to do indoors. We visit the big city of Portland to go shopping, see friends, and visit museums. Can you see snow-covered Mount Hood in the distance? Oh yeah! Mount Hood is one of many mountains in Oregon. You need a car in Beaverton, but you don't need one to go into Portland. We take the Max Light Rail there. It's an easy way to get from Beaverton to Portland without a car. The Light Rail drops us off in the center of the city so we can go shopping and stuff. I like to go to the city, but I like Beaverton better. It's smaller than Portland. This is a historic area in Beaverton. People are very friendly here. My sisters and I play at a playground near my house. One of my favorite places is Commonwealth Lake Park. We walk on a big circle path all around a lake. People come here to fish, too. Here's something really cool. Beaverton is known for having many parks. There are over 100 of them. There's so many places to play and explore. Do you have a park near your house? Even people who have a lot of land around their own house enjoy going to a park to walk their dog, meet with friends, rollerblade and skateboard, and have picnics. Okay, well, let's see what other places Nicole likes to visit. I also like to go to the library. 
my mom takes me and my sisters. The library has arts and crafts and other fun programs. I always walk out of there carrying a big stack of books. The Beaverton Library is one of the busiest in the state of Oregon. It has thousands of books, CDs, movies, and fun events for people of all ages. Another place we go to is the Beaverton Farmer's Market. They have so many fruits and vegetables, all fresh picked. Mom is always getting something there for one of her recipes. A farmer's market is a great place to get fresh vegetables and other foods from local farms and bakeries. When I visit the farmer's market near my house, I make a beeline for the people who sell fresh bread. Mm. My mom likes to bake, but that's not what she does for work. She's a real estate agent. She helps people sell their house or buy a new one. My dad works at Nike. Their headquarters is in Beaverton. The place is so big, they call it a campus. Dad does something with art and design. I'm not sure exactly what he does, but my dad is a good artist. Nike, the famous sneaker company, is headquartered in Beaverton, Oregon. Often, people in the suburbs travel into the big city where the jobs are, and this is basically the opposite. People from all around the area, including the big city, travel out to the suburb of Beaverton to work at Nike. In the summer, my family goes to Cannon Beach. It's a few hours away. Ooh, see that giant rock in the water? That's the famous haystack rock at Cannon Beach. Last summer, we went to Multnomah Falls. It's a very, very, very high waterfall. I was on that bridge way up there. It was kind of scary to look down. Whew. I could see how that would be scary. Would you like to go up on that bridge like to cold it? I would, but I would not look down. I have fun when we go away, but I'm always happy to get back home. I like to run around in our backyard. My dad put up a big tire swing there. All of our friends come over to use it. It's so fun. Everyone in the neighborhood rides bikes. Oh, it sounds like you have a lot of fun things to do, Nicole. Let's uh, see what else Nicole says here about school. I am in second grade. My teacher is Mrs. Harrison. We're learning how to write stories. I wrote a story about my bunny, Peter. I drew this picture to go with the story. Mrs. Harrison puts our stories up in the classroom for everyone to see. Oh, that's great, Nicole. A big part of writing, drawing, or playing music is sharing it with other people so they can enjoy it too. Have you shared your work with others before? I have to end this letter now and get ready for dance class. We're learning some new moves this week. Your friend, Nicole. P.S. Please come visit my family in Beaverton. Thank you so much, Nicole, for the invitation. I learned so much from your letter. I hope you did too, and that you enjoyed discovering what it's like to live in the suburb of Beaverton, Oregon. What did Nicole talk about that's kind of the same for you? What things are different? Be sure to take a look at the PDF that goes along with this video. It has fun facts and activities related to this lesson that I know you'll enjoy. I'll see you again soon, and until next time, friends, remember to always be clever. Hey.